This is the second tutorial on Accelerator Titanium. This time I will be talking about how to implement a table view and uh, this will work for all platforms supported on um, uh, Titanium Mobile. And so to start off I'm at the uh, Accelerator developer website. I'm going to go into the uh, documentation and the reference guide and under ti.ui we have um, the ti.ui.table view and when you look at the documentation for table view uh, it, it's a standard view um, in that you can add tiles to its hierarchy um, and you add it to the window to be displayed um, but it does come with a few extra functions and of course every class has its own uh, properties some of them are the same as others but um, table views do have unique um, unique properties in some ways so uh, here we have um, like delete row, append row uh, deselect row. We're not really going to use any of those. Um, just about all we're going to do is um, pass in some data to the table view so it's displayed different rows, um, add it to the window, and that's pretty much it. But if you want to set the data dynamically, you can use like the set data function. Um, and so, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, jump right, in, right into it. Um, so, I've already created a uh, titanium project but actually this is from the, the last tutorial um, and I'm going to create or uh, get rid of the label code here and the code that adds that label to the window but I'm going to keep the window um, maybe just change this title to um, uh, table view tutorial or something like that doesn't really matter then we're opening it and then in between there we're going to define a new table view variable, and I'll just call it table view camel case. And you can use ti. Um, in the documentation, you it says titanium dot ui dot whatever, or titanium dot app dot whatever. Um, but you can actually uh, you have access to a the ti abbreviation for titanium. So I can actually change this code up here like that. And so anyway, go back to where. The, we're defining the table view variable, and I'll say ti.ui.create table view and pass in some JSON. Um, and the only parameter I will specify for now is the data parameter, and that is an array. Actually, let's take a look of that. Uh, um, let's take a look at data um, in the documentation. You can see that the uh, data type is an array, and so array of objects you send in an array of objects to be used for the rows of the table view and this array of objects can either just be um, table view row JSON or like properties or it can actually be a a table view row object so if you wanted to customize your table view rows you could actually create table view rows and like add special um, sub views and whatnot to it, but in this case, we're not actually going to explicitly create objects. We're just going to put in properties into this array, and it'll automatically create those uh, table view row objects. And so, if we take a look at um, some of the uh, properties we have in table view row, um, the most important one uh, for this tutorial is the title, and that takes a string. Um, it's the title cell value do not specify if using views as children empty row. So that's just the label that's displayed in the table view row by default, and so that's the only thing we will specify here. Um, whoops. And so uh, we can put in a few different rows. This is obviously isn't dynamic data. It's just uh, static. I'm making this up. Um, you know. I'll say row one, that's the title of the first row, and then the next one will be row two, and then we'll put a third one. Row three. 
and remember to close those parentheses from the original create table view function and also the bra curly brackets for the JSON we just passed and just like that um, we'll have the ability to add that table view to the window view hierarchy so now if I go ahead and run that um, in the iPhone simulator um, actually, oh, it's launching. There we go. Okay, so here's our table. It's you can see it's a native um, table view with three rows, like we specified. Um, you can see the title attribute being displayed. So row one, row two, or row three. Um, we have no other um, properties specified. So um, that's just a kind of a uh, quick tutorial on how to implement table views in Accelerator Titanium. Thanks for watching and um, be sure to visit my blog connordenman.com and follow me on Twitter Connor, at Connor Denman on Google Plus just Connor Denman um, and yeah thanks for watching.